Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. This is the 12th part of the course, Computer Programming in C++. And today we will be covering different types of functions, actually three different types of functions. We will be covering uh, overloaded functions, uh, inline functions, and functions with default values. So let's start. So first of all, let's see the functions with default values. So what we do is we set a default value for the parameter or parameters of a function. Now, at the time of function call, if the value is passed, then the default value is ignored. Otherwise, if the value is not passed at the time of function call, the default value is used. Now, let's see an example to better understand what we are talking about. Okay, this is an example. This is a function divide and it is taking two parameters. So the first one is a and the second one is b. Both are integer parameters. Now you can see that the second parameter b, it is made a default um, variable, a default parameter. How? We have assigned it a value two by default. So in case a value for this parameter is not passed, two will be used here. Okay, so and this is its code. It's it has a third variable r and it's dividing a by b and then returning the variable r. Now let's see its function call. So this function is called two times. First of all, let's see the first call. We have called this function and only one value is passed. So when only one value is passed, it is used for the variable a and for the variable b, the default value two is used. So in the other case. Uh, two values are passed. So the first value is 20, which is used for uh, the first variable a, and the second value, which is 4, that is used for the second variable b. Now, in this case, when 4 is passed, the value, the default value of b, which was 2, is ignored. So this is how it works. And also, one more thing, the values that are passed are in sequence. So the first value 20 will always be passed for the first variable, not the second one. Uh, we have learned that before. And the second value uh, 4 is passed for the second variable, not the first variable. So, so sequence always matters in the function call. Now, there are certain rules for the default values and parameters. Let's see those rules. The first one is only the last parameter can be default. And this means that, for example, we have a function. Um, let's call it add. Now, let's say we have three... Um, parameters in it a b and c right so only the last parameter can have a default value it means that but what if you want to make the other parameters as default too so so what happens in the in that case so we have another rule for that so if a parameter uh, has a default value all the parameters, all the subsequent parameters or all the parameters after it must have a default uh, argument or value. What does that mean? That mean? It means that if you have made A as a default um, parameter or a def if you have set a default value for A, for example, you have set 1 as a default value for A, now you must make B, B as a default parameter too. You must give a default value to B too. It means that. So if any variable, so, so let's say there's a function and it, it's taking, let's say, um, six, um, six parameters, right? So if you want to make C, a, uh, if you want to give C a default value, you must give default values to all the variables after it. So you must give default values to all of these, D, E, and F, right? So this is the rule. Also, the values that will be passed will always be in sequence. So if uh, there's a function call, let's say uh, we have called, we have uh, made a function call like this. It means that one will be passed to A, two will be passed to B, three will be passed to C, and four will be passed to D. It's not like four, you can pass four to B or, or three to F. That's wrong. That, that's, that's not right. So that, so that won't happen. So sequence always matters values will always be passed in sequence. I think you must have many questions in your mind about default values. To uh, address them, let's see some cases of uh, default values. So case number one is if you have made a function, for example, 
um, this is your function, this is a prototype of function actually. You have made a function, it's taking two arguments, integer, and you have given it the default value of 10, and float, and it's taking the default value of 8.8. .8. Now, you have called it in main, this is the, the function, the name of function is temp, you have called it in main, and no arguments have passed. The, the first case is, if you haven't passed any argument uh, to the function, which is taking default values in all the parameters, right? So what will happen then? In that case, if you haven't uh, if you haven't passed any argument, what will happen is the default values for both parameters will be used. Obviously, we haven't passed anything, so obviously the default values will be used uh, in this case. Now let's consider the second case. So if you have passed one argument and uh, among the two arguments, you have only passed one argument. So what happens then? So this is this is the function called temp, and you have passed six. Now what will happen is this six will be assigned to the first variable, not the second. This is very important. So that's why I was saying that um, a sequence matters. So this six will be assigned to the first variable, which is i, and default value will be used for the second variable, which was 8.8, .8, right? This is very, very important. So keep this in mind. This six will not be passed for the second variable. It will always be passed for the first variable, right? And for the second variable, the default value will be used. Now let's consider the third case. So in the third case, if you have passed all the arguments, so if you have passed all the arguments, will the default values be used? Obviously not. The default values will be ignored and the values that you have passed will be used. So six will be passed to i, the first variable, and minus 2.3 will be passed to f, the second variable. Now, this is all good. There is a case for if I think you must have this question in mind. If for some reason you don't want to pass the value for the first variable, you only want to pass the value of the second variable. So the case is only second argument is passed and first one is not passed. What will happen? So actually that won't work. Why? Because I, I told you sequence matters. Whichever value is here, it will always be passed to the first variable. Always. So when 3.4 is passed to i, so what will be the what will be the value in i the the answer is right here but how is it three how is it not 3.4 you have passed 3.4 why is it three because this is an integer variable so when it is an integer variable and 3.4 comes in it it will ignore the floating point part it will only consider the integer part and the integer part is three so three will be assigned to i and for the second variable, the default value will be used. And default value here is 8.8. .8. So second variable, f will be assigned 8.8. .8. .8. So in this case, i will be 3 and f will be 8.8. .8. And this is wrong. This is not what you wanted, right? So don't do that. You, you can't do that. So this is not possible. If you want to uh, pass a, a value to the second argument, you must pass a value to the first argument too. So this, I think this solves all the questions in your mind. If, if you have any more, let me know.